Joining us now is global entrepreneur and business strategist Rubel Chandy, the international entrepreneur and best selling author Rubel Chandy. Great to be with you, Melissa, and good morning, Houston. How do you really build unbreakable confidence? How could you how could you even do that? Like if you if you live in India, if you live in Asia, if you live in US or anywhere in the world, if you're born to just a normal, regular family, and you don't have a lot of money and you don't have a lot of education, you might have some of this. And you don't know English for some of you, like you don't know how to talk English in a very efficient, fast, intelligent way. Or you don't, you, you don't make a lot of money and still have confidence. How could you still have confidence when odds are against you? You don't look that great. You don't have a lot of hair like me. How could you have confidence in spite of the fact that you have many challenges in your life or even a crisis in your life? You're trying to run a business and you don't know how to build a business and you're not making money. And you, if you're making money, you're not making enough money. And if you're making enough money, you don't have money to grow to the next level and you don't know how to scale your business to the next level and still have confidence. If you are able to build confidence in your life, in your business, the funny thing is you'll be able to grow your business. You'll be able to grow your career. You'll be able to move the needle of your life to the next level. You'll be able to accelerate your life and your business and your career to the next level. But if you don't have confidence, you'll stay where you are. The, the weird truth is life might become worse than it is right now. That's why you should listen to this video and then figure out a way to build confidence, build a sense of certainty about yourself. That is unshakable, that nobody can shake so that you could achieve whatever you want to achieve. So what, are, what is the first step of building an unshakable confidence? It's very simple. The first step is to build a high self-image. Build a high self-image. When you look at yourself, let's say in the evening, 8 p.m., you are about to go to sleep or maybe you are at home trying to relax, you look at your mirror of your a physical mirror in your bathroom or you close your eyes and look at yourself in your mind. Who do you see? Do you see a person who you could build a friendship with or do you see a person you almost basically hate or, or dislike or you are not in friendship with? If you see a person who dislike, who you dislike, or you moderately dislike, then you need to work on your self-image. The image of yourself. The image of yourself creates self-confidence. Look at that, self-confidence. Self-confidence emanates from the image that you see in yourself. So the first step is to see for yourself in a fascinating way, being able to see your greatness. And even if you are not great yet, being able to see your greatness. Muhammad Ali said, I'm the greatest in the world. Why was he able to say that? He was able to say that because he was able to see his core self and learn and appreciate that part of him. Are you able to, like tonight when you go home or today, if you are evening, if you're home already, can you look at yourself and start to appreciate that self? So you have self image, which is high so that your confidence, the self-confidence is high as well. Let's look at the second thing. The second thing is imagination. Imagination. How is imagination going to influence my confidence? How can I use imagination to build my confidence? You might be asking. Most of the time, humans build confidence through competence, which means you have competence in a special thing. 
let's say, walking, let's say you're really good at walking, then you have a very high self-confidence that you could walk. Makes sense? It's very simple, right? If you're really good at sales, after you become really good at sales, you have a sense of certainty. You have a sense of certainty, extended confidence that you could sell. If you're really good at interacting with people after some time, after building this competence called interacting with people, what happens? You feel good that you can interact with people. So competence leads to confidence most of the time. But the weird thing is most humans, even if they have competence, they don't have confidence, which is another subject. We'll deal with that later. But I'm going to tell you a way for you to build confidence in advance even before you have competence. Isn't that cool? Yeah. So first of all, the idea is not to separate your reality of your competence and the reality of your confidence to be separate. That's not the idea. You need to be committed to adding values. If you are in business, you need to be committed to adding value to people. This is not a way for you to scam other people or to influence other people or take advantage of other people. If you don't give value to people, people will find out that you are not value, giving value to them through your business, through your career, and then you would get into, uh, into much bigger problems than self-confidence. So I wanted to clarify that before I, before I say what I'm about to tell you. So before even, before even you build competence about something, let's say you want to be uh, faster than Usain Bolt in, a, in Olympics, which it's a highly improbable situation. It's difficult. Usain Bolt is the fastest man on the planet. But let's say that's your imagination. You want to be the fastest man or woman in the planet. You don't get there by, you don't get to that confidence by running in Olympics and you win gold medal accidentally and then you build confidence. It doesn't work that way. You build confidence in advance. How do you do that? So, so the second thing that you would do is, the second step is to imagine you have the competence. Imagine that you have the competence again and again and again. Imagine you taking action again and again and again. Imagine you winning in the 100 meter race again and again so much that you start to feel an inner certainty within you, within your heart. And you start to feel that, you know what? I have the confidence to do this 100 meter race and be the fastest person on the planet. And you can translate it to whatever you want to do. If you want to be a successful businessman, businesswoman, uh, or if you want to build a million dollar business or a $10 million business, I work with people starting out to doing more than $100 million all over the world. And what I realize is people who have high confidence they win the game because they built confidence ahead of competence. If you build confidence ahead of competence, then you win the game altogether. But one more step, which is you have very high self-image. You have very high imagination and you built confidence about a skill. And then you sit and imagine it's not going to happen. You need to take intelligent action. So which means that in order to build confidence, you see that you are confident in advance and build a self-image and then take action, take radically intelligent action that would expand the way you see yourself. That will expand out of your comfort zone. We all have a comfort zone. We all have a, imagine a circle around us. That's our comfort zone. Do start to do things on the edge of that comfort zone. Imagine the circle and you try to get closer to that outside line of that circle. And when you start to do things in that outside line of that circle, and then maybe one time you'll step outside of that line and then your comfort zone is expanding. And then you take one step outside of that comfort zone. Then the comfort zone is expanding until every day, you will start expanding your comfort zone and then your comfort zone is infinitely big. That's when 
you become an, a person of unbreakable confidence. So the three steps to build a, a, a unbreakable confidence. Step number one, step number one is build a high self-image. A high self-image. Go back to this video and see how you do that. And second thing is use imagination to build your confidence in advance. And step number three, which is a final step, is to do intelligent actions closer to your comfort zone. Some action if possible. If you could do some action, then do something better and better until you get to the edge of that comfort zone, until you expand your comfort zone. And then you are repeating this process. You increase your self-confidence, self-image, and then you imagine more, and then you do more action, and then you create a cycle of victory. And that's how a person who's running on district for 100 meter race, go to state. And from there, they go to the national championship and then they go to Olymp Asia or Olympics or whichever one it is. This is how life is going to be. You start a business, you started doing, uh, making, let's say, um, $100,000 a year, and then you, you build that self-image, use that imagination, and take intelligent action to expand it to $200,000, to half a million dollars, to a million dollars, to $10 million, and expanding and growing to the next level. That is how you build unshakable confidence. If you have any question, put the comment below. And I have my book, 90 Days to Life, which will teach you exactly how to build, a what are the step-by-step -step ways that you could use to build a legendary business. This is a first um, humorous uh, business, uh, business fiction that will help you and guide you to scale and grow your business to the next level. If you want to get that book anywhere in the world, there would be a few links on the bottom. You could use that link to buy my book and experience it and take your business to the next level, your career to the next level, your life to the next level. I'll see you on another video. Talk to you soon. Bye. You had to go through some crazy experience in your life. I understand that. But you can change that today.